It's been more than a week since someone vandalized two murals on the west side. That art has been in the west side neighborhood since the 90s. But as KCTV5's Nathan Vickers found out, those marks won't last. The faces and the marks that now cover them. I noticed that Andrew Dominguez walks through Gage Park and this mural nearly every day. It made me like real mad that this happened because it's such a beautiful mural too. He knows what Cesar Chavez and Guadalupe represent to his west side neighborhood. He wears the saint around his neck. This is a, a part, a big part of our culture and our neighborhood. Now community groups want it fixed. It's a great community and they organized quickly on this issue. Michael Carmona works with the Hispanic Economic Development Corporation, which is working with other neighborhood groups and the Parks Department to scrub off the black paint this week. They've also commissioned the artist who painted this more than 20 years ago to create a new one over the winter. To continue to, to have that right now on the mural just kind of takes away from the pride of the community, so taking care of that right away is the first step. Once they're done with the mural, people here want to redo the stairs that go up into the park and add other improvements like gliding. Talked uh, about, um, you know, opportunities to, to even redo the park itself, adding some more amenities. It's a landmark West Side doesn't want forgotten. I think this is just a great example of having pride in our city and our, our neighborhood. We're all one. We're together. We all feel the same way about our community. People here hope an ugly act of vandalism can lead to something beautiful. One thing's bad and then just like you get you get the good out of it. In Kansas City, Nathan Vickers, KCTV 5 News.